What's up you guys, Tommy Shaw here and I want to explain why is the number one reason people don't succeed in life, okay? This is a perception mindset that a lot of people do and they're not aware that they're doing it because it's so anchored inside their mindset that they're never aware of they're doing this, okay? Like, I would just want to show exactly how to change this mindset and the number one thing you need to do to become aware on how to become successful is how you view the world, okay? It's when you look at the world from a consumer standpoint, this goes a lot deeper than just the word, okay? A lot of people are saying, okay, consume, people think material, but you can consume information and this is where it gets tricky because even though you're trying to do something good you're doing something bad because it's the way you view the information if you listen to me to me and you only consume the information and you don't apply it in your own life what's going to happen is that you're even though you're trying to do something good you're consuming my information and you're gonna forget it Tomorrow, you're going to go back to your old ordinary self and do exactly what you did yesterday or today, this morning, because it's a program. So what you want to do is that when you're looking for information, you need to change your perception on that information. When you consume, you need to transform that knowledge into production, like create a business, like invest in your education so that you can create something, an outcome that can create values for others. When you change this belief, instead of being a consumer, you become a producer, a creator. This way, when you create your business, you are going to sell stocks. Even though you're trying to invest in stocks, you're still a consumer because you're buying stocks of a business. If you were selling your stocks, from your own business, then you'd still have that producer mindset. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? I'm talking about even though you're trying to do something good, it's just because you've been taught in a certain way to always consume to consume information, to buy other people's book, to buy uh, the, the information that other people are giving you instead of what can I give to the world so that I can produce and create and give outside of my life? So this is what I wanted to show because a lot of people, they're not aware of this. And even I, I would used to read so many books and I was not aware that I was consuming that information. The ego loved to hear that information to, to have new knowledge, but the only problem is that I wasn't applying that information. And if you're reading 1200 books or you're, you're wasting 12 hours learning something and you're not applying it in your life, then you're only staying a consumer. And this was a revelation when I saw that, hey, I'm looking at YouTube. I'm not creating, I'm consuming that information. And that changed my perception because I was like, I need to change the way I'm thinking. I need to see how can I serve the world and how can I create value to the world by giving and not consuming and giving back to the world. Then you become a producer. If you're not one, you're the other. If you're not a producer, then you're a consumer. So every time you're consuming something, you're, uh, you're being a consumer. You're not somebody that's applying that knowledge. And hopefully this makes sense because when I first thought of this concept, it changed the way I viewed life and I felt like sharing this information. And if it makes sense, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell doing many more videos to come. Thank you, goodbye.